Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this breakfast meeting of startups and digital entrepreneurship. My name is Nina Gill, and I'm a member of European Parliament from the SD group, and I represent the UK West Midlands. And it's great to have uh, so many of you here, but particularly my parliamentary colleagues who are here. Uh, Pia, I'm sure everybody knows, Catherine Styler, uh, former colleagues, um, Edith I saw somewhere, and James Ellis. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing anybody else, but I'm sure others will be along shortly. Um, and I'd like to also uh, give a warm welcome to uh, all of the speakers this morning. And I will introduce them in a moment. But I think just as a brief introduction to um, startups, they're very much high on the agenda of the EU as well as governments and public um, authorities across uh, e the EU. They're growing signs that with uh, funding, there are heightened activity of startups in many different kinds of businesses. I hosted an event uh, last year for the, the Elite program, which is designed to a digital entrepreneurship and usher it into a new age, which I believe Facility Life were part of. Um, Startup Europe launched a new website two months ago dedicated to European tech startups with a mission of uniting their ecosystems. Now, I believe this will directly benefit startups with information on how to access physical infrastructure, how to participate in activities and online courses, and how they can improve their network and contacts across Europe. I'm on the Econ Committee and I get to talk to a lot of bankers and funders and this, these are some of the major concerns that actually getting startups ready and prepared uh, would really help them to access funding. So financing is still a crucial uh, issue for, for startups and um, we have had from the Commission proposal on the Capital Markets Union, I do believe it's an important initiative which will lead to more opportunities. But you know, if we are to have a next Google of the future to come from the EU, we do need a culture change. And it would be interesting to have this in the debate afterwards. And, and I think one of the main areas that we need to address is it's okay if sometimes you fail. And I think that is the biggest difference between the US and here, because I had an opportunity in my sabbatical to work out in the US. And it really wasn't a big thing if you had, you know, three or four attempts at getting the right startup going, whereas here the culture is very uh, different. And I also think we need to look at taxation. Uh, it's an important element, and I saw um, earlier this year uh, when we had um, introduction of VATMOS, what were the implications for very many um, startups and SMEs. Uh, Kaya Tainer, who's a co-founder and board member of AppLift, says that if the EU can take responsibility for changing the overall business environment for digital startups and infuse more entrepreneurial mindset throughout Europe, you know, this will make a significant difference to level of activity. So the proposal on the digital single market will create new opportunities for business and investment and in long run benefit the consumers as well. And yet you find that although the talk is there, the walk is not there with the leaders, not really understanding the importance of market for startups as drivers of innovation in our economy and, and our opportunity for rapid growth and job creations. So I welcome the Startup Manifesto. I think it can be seen as one of the first milestones for the current initiative um, across continental Europe and uh, to see how we can create new businesses and growth as much as in the Silicon Valley. And 
the, one of the other issues that we have to tackle, that while we do have startups, many of them go away and grow elsewhere. And this is an important issue that we need to try and ensure that homegrown businesses actually do grow within the EU. So um, more still needs to be done in terms of the single European ecosystems and Startup Europe partnership launched by the Commission, I'm sure we will hear more about that, um, will perhaps lead us in that direction. I'm looking forward to this morning's debate and I hope you will all participate and now I'm going to introduce the speakers. Uh, firstly we have Isidoro Lasso who's the head of Startup Europe sector, DG Connect, European uh, Commission, and since becoming a Commission uh, official, you've managed research projects and drafted research strategy objectives, and uh, you're also a fellow and a senior member of Cambridge University and uh, Politecnica Madrid. Uh, that's a very short intro, but m more details are there. And then we will have Julian uh, David, CEO, Tech UK. Um, uh, Tech UK represents 850 companies who collectively employ more than 700,000 people, about half of all tech jobs in the UK, and majority of whom are small and Bus uh, medium sized businesses. Then we've got Gian Piero Lottito, Facility Life, which is an Italian startup that develops a platform for information management driven by next generation search engine with patents granted in 43 countries worldwide. And finally, we have Jorin. Adrum, co-founder and CEO of Synratio, uh, apologies if I got the pronunciation wrong, uh, founded in Eindhoven University of Technology and member of the Eurotech Alliance that developed a platform where researchers, students and companies can collaborate and support access research. You'll agree, wonderful set of speakers, but if I could ask you all to do a five minute introduction so we've got opportunity for debate. Could we start with you, um, 